Welcome to an example of integration by parts. Integration by parts is an integration technique that's often helpful when the integrand is a product and doesn't fit one of the basic integration formulas. So the given integral is integral of u dv, which using integration by parts is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So the idea is we'll let part of the integrand be equal to u. Once we identify u, we'll differentiate to find differential u. The remaining part of the integrand will be equal to dv. Once we identify dv, we'll integrate in order to find v. Once we have all four of these parts, we can apply the integration by parts formula. And the idea is this integral here would be easier to integrate. So let's take a look at our example. We have the integral of natural log x times the square root of x to the fifth dx. And whenever there's a natural log in the integrand, we normally want to let u equal natural log x. So if u is equal to natural log x, notice that differential u would be equal to one divided by x dx. So again, if we let u equal natural log x, the remaining integrand must be equal to dv. So in this case, dv must be the square root of x to the fifth dx. But because this is a square root where the index is two, let's go ahead and write dv as x to the five halves dx. So now to find v, we'd have to integrate. So we'd add one to the exponent, five halves plus one would be seven halves, and then divide by seven halves, which is the same as multiplying by two sevenths. So v is equal to two sevenths x to the seven halves. Now we'll go ahead and apply the integration by parts formula. So the given integral is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Well u times v would be two sevenths x to the seven halves natural log x. And then we're going to have minus the integral of v du. Well, here's v and here's du. So let's factor out the two sevenths. And then we'll have x to the seven halves times one over x or divided by x dx. This would be x to the first. So now we can simplify this by subtracting the exponents. Seven halves minus one would be seven halves minus two halves or five halves. So we can write this as two sevenths x to the seven halves natural log x minus two sevenths the integral of x to the five halves dx. And this is good news because now we can integrate this using the basic power rule of integration. So we'll have two sevenths x to the seven halves natural log x minus two sevenths times the integral of x to the five halves. So we'd have x to the seven halves divided by seven halves or x to the seven halves times a reciprocal of two sevenths plus c. So finally we have two sevenths x to the seven halves natural log x. Here we'd have minus four forty ninths x to the seven halves plus c. This would be our antiderivative using integration by parts. I hope you found this helpful.